this situation right so we had this uh, variable right where uh, we have defined it uh, uh, globally which is uh, across the class here right okay. and we have defined one uh, main method and a normal method here right and what we are do yes. doing is we are uh, calling this method before editing that and you know it printed something and after editing you know it printed whatever we have edited there right so that is what we got when we ran that so this was the situation okay, okay. just yeah? give me one quick moment okay Definitely. just give me so one sure. more right. yeah. mummy arvakande just stay by and it Hey, sorry about that. No, not at all. Okay, so uh, we have seen this, right? So I hope this is clear yeah. with you now. Uh, which is like you know uh, we can use any uh, variable across the methods, right? We have used the same variable, right? So this is a variable, and we have used it here, right? We have changed the value, and we have used the same thing here to print out, right? But the only change okay. is if you change across the methods, if you change any time this. Uh, value it will be changing. It will be changing across the class. Right. So that is what we have. Yeah. Right now. Now let's go on and uh, see uh, some arguments and written types now, <coughs> which we have uh, seen yesterday. A quick okay. review now. So let me uh, move this out. Move this out. So let me just say string s here. Right. And what we were doing is, uh, I want a st uh, argument here, which is some some x here, and I'm gonna print my x here. So here I'll pass s, right? Because s is a local variable here, local in the sense local to the method. So in this method, we have a variable s, which is hello, how are you, right? And we have a method which is print line method where what I'm doing is I'm trying to accept a string argument so here it's a variable we call it variable here right or uh, uh, attribute and we call it as a argument here arguments so okay. right so we are passing some value to here so s the value of s will be assigned to a x here right so what we are doing is we are just printing that x so we, are, we just want to see what actually you know uh, is x so we just printed it and we can see the output right so that is a simple yeah. argument which we had right and we'll see now mm -hmm. like how actually the operation can be done so let me take int i is equal to 10 what we have seen yesterday right int x is yeah. equal to 15 yeah. right so print line we'll just do one thing we'll take int a comma int b some arguments here right so what I'll, I'm gonna do is, so I'm, I'll be sending i and x in here, right? Right, my i and x. I'm just setting it as a parameters, right? And here arguments. So are, no. is it gonna print? Sorry. Is it going to print the i x and the hello no, in here. case if you're adding them? No. Here what we'll do is we will we'll return int here. Okay. So first we'll oh, do okay. one thing. First, as you said, we'll just add it here. Let me take int z is yeah. equal to a plus b right because a plus b i can access a plus b because they are uh, arguments here so i can use them only in yeah. this method and a and b are nothing but your i comma x right okay now let me print this sys out of z right i just print it here itself in this method itself and let me run this right you get 25 fine so that is okay i just have a question here sure why do you all, all again have to why do you have to make it like int again like int a and int b instead of using like int i and int b here here you mean here yeah yeah uh you can make it you can make it i and x here not a problem but the only thing is this i is different from this i i can just say this see i can just say i and x not a problem if I run this, you'll get the same value. But this i is not a, not same as this i, right? 
So dis okay. to, to distinguish these two, I just made use the different variables. That's it. See, Shiva, i and x are different from this, right? i and x are different because let me remove this and let us say I want to have ten comma fifteen, right? I'm giving two integers directly, right? Okay. Now let me run this up. You can see the same because I'm passing two. It doesn't matter what the name is. This is just a name. When I say int a. Okay. This is just a name of well, name of integer. That's it. Not about. Not not not. Now now I clearly understand what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Int a and b. Yeah. So the arguments are going to always the store. Uh, they're going to store the values, whatever's you know we have in the print line, right? Perfect. These are going yeah. to store. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. These are going to store whatever we are sending it here. That's it. That's a perfect. Sending. Okay. Yeah. So when you're printing it, it's actually you're sending something. Yeah, that, no, right? no, don't go with uh, the name. Yeah, whenever we are calling this method, we are we, let me okay. take this method as add, anyways, right? Let me take it as add, which means to this okay. add method, right? I'm 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 sending my two values, which is ten and fifteen. So this ten will be assigned to the first argument, right? Which is because these are first parameter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fifteen mm -hmm. will be to b. So that's why whenever we do yeah. a plus b, in turn it will be adding ten plus fifteen, which is twenty five, right? So that is nothing yeah. but your uh, argument here. Now this example is is very perfect, and I can understand. Yeah, cool. Then. Fine. So now let yeah. us see one thing. Let us check out. I don't want to print it here, but I want to. This is the next case. This is the last case which we have. Which oh, the return. The return. return. Term. Yep. Yep. Correct. Oh. So we'll do int here, and we'll just say return. Return z because I want to return int and z is nothing but your int, right? So that's why I'm yeah. just saying return z, right? So what I'll do here, I'll just catch that in int sum is equal to add. So anything in here, int s, let us say s, not a problem, right? Int s is equal to when I call this method add because this is returning something called re int, right? So that's why I'm catching it on int itself, right? And I'll just say sys out of s. Any doubts still here? Uh, let me take some twenty here. And right. uh, let's just look in at the program. Sure, sure. Go on. Okay. okay. Let me try. So what is the s again? You have a new s value. What yeah. is that? S is nothing but so whatever is returning is is nothing but it is actually the meaning of return is actually I'm giving so this method is giving back something. So that giving back, okay. I have to I have to catch I have to hold that giving back right. Giving okay. Back. So okay. I'm holding the giving yeah. back because the this giving back of this method is nothing but integer. It can give only integers. So that's why yeah. when it is giving back, I'm 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 taking that in my S, which means I'm holding it. Okay, you're yeah. holding it. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And now I'm printing it. So that's why I, I took this int. Now I understand it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what when you run this, you'll get 35, which is uh, uh, additional, right? So this this is nothing yeah. but your arguments, arguments which is an uh, arguments here. Right, mm -hmm. and and these are, uh, don't ever go with the uh, names. N uh, names is you can give any anything mm -hmm. that doesn't matter. This name can also be in this method, or this name can also be internal to method. That doesn't matter. Only thing is, what is the type of that, and what is the value of that? That's that's the main thing here, right? And okay. and the name. If you if you are going for a more on name, anyways, we'll be touching upon names in our upcoming classes. You'll be you, then you'll be clear on what should be given right not a problem but as of now don't yeah. go with the names it's only thing is what what matters is what is being sent and what is being caught here and what are we doing yeah. inside and what are we returning so whenever we are returning so whenever this method is gifting something so i'm holding it in some other s and i'm just checking what is okay. what is uh, what is that i have got from this method that's it 
when I said. So what is that holding? What value is it Perfect. holding? That is what you're printing out, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I'm just printing the value of s. That's it. Nothing else, right? Right. So, so when do you need? Yeah. Why do you need to hold the value? Because we already got the results, right? Yeah. One thing, if you don't hold the value, let us say, right? If you don't hold the value, let me just okay. say, if you don't do, I'll hold the value now. So, so we we did something like uh, we did something like uh, we did, we added we uh, use this method to get the va sum of these two, right? Now, yeah. If you're not using if you're not using what is a sum, what is the use of this add then? Which means, let us say, I'm adding two numbers, right? I'm adding two numbers. Okay. So after adding two numbers, let me take a uh, situation again. That was a good question. Let me take this way. Let us say I have 10, sorry, 12 and 13, right? I want to add 12 plus 13, right? And I want to multiply them, or let me take an easy case, 10 and 5, right? And I want to add them with 2, let us say. Is that is that fine? Yeah. Let us do a small math here, which is you know I have two. Uh, this is this is a simple math I want. I want ten plus five, and the result should be multiplied by two, right? Now. Okay. Now let us see what happens here. So what I did is I I have. Let me take a integers again. Int i, or uh, let me just pass it up. Not let's not get confused more. Now, what I did is I want to add two numbers first, right? I want to add two numbers. Now, I'll just send 10 and 5 here, first first part, right? So now, so the result of this, I have to hold this result as something like 15, and then I have to multiply with 2. Is that, is that correct, Shiva? Yeah. Right? Which means this addition should be holded somewhere. That holding somewhere is nothing but I am just holding it int s. Okay. Now, we have to get what we have to do now. The result of this multiply. Multiply, right? Now, how to multiply that again? Let me take int m multiplication is equal to. I will be using this s. S, s star times and 2. Fine. Okay. What I am doing is. I'm just uh, I'm just I just want the whole result whole result 30 right I have to hold again right? because I want to print what is the what is the arithmetic uh, expression here yeah. which means what I'll do here I'll just say sys out of m here mm. which is yeah. m is nothing but s into 2 what is s s is nothing but add method of 10 plus 5 it will come here 10 plus uh -huh. 5 is 15 return z so z will be returned to s which means 15 will be returned to my s right and okay, here yeah, s will come here which is 15 15 into 2 is nothing but 30 so 30 will be saved in m so let's run this see oh, that's cool. yeah so now that's I why understand. we have to hold the value because there will be some significance right right so uh, significance is it can be we yeah. have just seen a small example it can be of any big significance right um, one more question: Is this running under the main method, or it's under the second method? Yeah, yeah, it's the main, right? It's running completely under main. Okay, I yes. mean, the, yeah. when you are holding the value, right? Is it under the main? Uh, okay, this holding value. You're talking about this holding value. Yeah. No, it yeah. doesn't matter. It it doesn't have. Okay, let me take uh, some intermediate method. Okay, I understood your question public static void some interim some uh, let me take some interim, uh, uh, let me call this method right and i'll write the whole thing in here and okay. i'll just call some interim method from here see so now let me run this can you see here it doesn't yeah. matter okay it's the same yeah it doesn't, it matter, doesn't okay. matter where what is the method name or all what it matters is what is the operation you are doing is it, it it matters actually but during the call of method the method name matters in main i'm calling this method which means the first trigger will be this one fine Int yeah, okay. yeah internally i'm calling add method yeah. right it doesn't matter whether i'm doing it in main or not but we, we just need a method main to trigger it 
so i took this main and triggered something called method and now from this method you, your compiler compiled everything and gave me the result 30 right so that is how uh, we get this um, you know uh, the value so it doesn't matter if it is main or any method main is only used to trigger your uh, application program or just to start it yeah just to start your program perfect find any any doubts in here you can just go through the program once again yeah yeah so what we have done is we have created a main right and we have mm -hmm. created a method here which is interim so we have calling this now main method is out of scope now because interim is being called and cursor will come here right now yeah. so internally what i am doing is i am adding to first i am calling a method here we shall go to add it will add 10 plus 5 and it will return my 15 here to s i am holding this that in my s now it will come to next step m is equal to s s is 15 into 2 is 15 to 30 so the 30 will be saved in m fine so i am printing i want to check what is m here so i che i checked it here so that's how we use something called arguments and return type Right. Any doubts here? And and again, I just uh, just be clear that this arguments can be anything. It can be integer. It can be char, boolean. It doesn't matter what it is. Right. Our format is same. Right. Again, you can increase this to any number. I said I can just say it C. Like uh, let us say I want to add three numbers. Right. Like I have five again. Right which means in C and I'll just say a comma 5 so where I'm adding three numbers right plus C A plus B plus C I'm doing because I have three numbers A plus B plus C I'm doing it here catching it in my integer and returning it so return will be again folded in my S right which is 20 it will come here 20 into 2 is 40 40 will be saved in M and I'm printing that here Fine. So yeah. that is what we have. Fine. So that is nothing but what we have in uh, arguments, right? We have seen. So you can make it up with any number of arguments and return type. Uh, and catch. I have one more question for you. Sure. So. Okay, isn't it? Is it? Is it really easy to put? Uh, let me click on the screen here. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, just um, so why don't we just put this interim um, method mm -hmm. after the return type can we do that uh, after the return type okay you mean you want to put this method after this yeah yeah you can yeah, do that not yeah. a problem it, it, it yeah doesn't. because that would be even easier so that step by step it will no clearly problem. tell you what it's doing after definitely you yeah. can do that not a problem if you run this again anyways you'll be getting the same because even even if you write yeah. anywhere your interim will be called first okay oh okay. so it really depends what you call in the main, exactly. uh, it main doesn't matter uh, method yeah it doesn't matter where you are writing this i can also write this can you see this i can also write it uh, oops i can also write it this method even before main doesn't matter at all your interim will be called for call first see here yeah okay I can keep my main oh. at the last of everything. It doesn't matter at all. But main will be called first. That's it. It doesn't matter where you're writing. Main. What matters? Okay. Is what is this called? What, what do you call this interim? What is that called? Is that a? Uh, it's it's just a it's just a method name. It's just a method. Just the name of the method. Yeah, I can just call oh. it Shiva. That doesn't matter. I can just call it Shiva, right? What what does Shiva do? Is like it, he's just calling a method here. He just Shiva wanted to do some operation here, which is uh, ten, this uh, ten plus five plus plus into two, yeah. a small uh, arithmetic application, right? So what we Shiva did, okay. uh, I'm calling method Shiva here, right? So so internally it it called add method, and he got a sum of this ten comma five comma five, which is a comma b comma c, and internally I'm doing a plus b plus c, right? I'm adding all these three, right? Yeah. and addition is being saved in z and i'm returning this z so this will this z will be cached in s right 
Now my S is sum of these three. It will go to S, which is 20 here. 20 into 2 is nothing but 40 will be saved in M. I'm just printing that M here, right? So that is nothing but your how you are calling. So wherever, so the method name doesn't matter at all, right? Whatever name you can give. Okay. It. But make sure you are calling that method name from wherever you want. That's it. See, I just give add, right? Add. So I I, I can just say plus plus uh, digit. I can call anything. Doesn't matter. There is no predefined something here. Only thing is you have to call only main. Main is the only function. Oh, main, main is a, okay. Main is the only function which you have to keep it as main. That's it. Because this is a predefined one. And ex except from main, nothing is predefined. You can give any name to anything. Right? That doesn't matter. At all. So you can get the same output. Here. Fine? So you can write the program anywhere, but yeah, there you put the main, and then you do you put it as a main. That is what it will first run. Exactly. And then uh, yeah. okay. Okay. So yeah. So Perfect. that is what we have in uh, our. You can just go through now. I, I hope you know everything is recording fine. I'm just checking continuously yep. whether it is recording or not. Okay. You can just get this and uh, yeah, you can no. yeah you can uh, go through this video again. And uh, I hope I'll uh, practice a couple of points. Yeah, please practice this so that you know we'll we'll have to move on with the concepts yeah. now, right? Because this yeah. is the basic program which you can get. So as and then we move on, we'll write more programs. We'll write more programs, right? Okay. But this is the foundation for each and every program. Fine. As of now, okay. let's go through this, okay. right? And uh, if if possible, so have you asked for any material? You were just asking for material, right? You said. Yeah, material. Like, uh, have you inquired anything with uh, Naresh or anyone there? Mm. Oh, I didn't. Oh, do I? I didn't know that I have to ask. Okay, I can no, ask no problem. Right? You can just do one thing. You can just wait for a few more classes, right? I don't. I don't know whether for mm -hmm. uh, whether they'll be giving because you know everything. You know, anyways, we are getting these videos, right? I don't know whether there'll yeah, be more that's materials, right? right? Anyways, you don't even need because once you start from tomorrow's like actual classes, right? Yeah. Okay. You'll be yeah. getting more. So the only only uh, advantage here is uh, we are recording every session, so you can go through every session. Whatever you have doubts, you can clear it in ne next class. Because taking notes is some cumbersome task, right? So that's why you know it's it's better to have. That's this, right. Right. Okay. Yep, yeah. Perfect. So let me wind up here so that you know I just I don't want to start new topic at this time, right? Uh, no I hope problem, everything no is being recorded, uh, right? You can just go through this and uh, let, let us see if you have any uh, questions tomorrow, fine? Yeah, for sure. Okay, let me stop this recording now and... Uh